Hello everyone, in previous lecture series we have discussed about the maintenance and uh, rehabilitation of structures. So in this lecture series we are going to see about the special concretes. The special concrete is nothing but normal concrete in which we will be adding uh, chemical and mineral admixtures. So in order to improve its strength and stability and also the performance will be improved. So the uses of special concrete is it is used in extreme weather conditions. So it is used in both, both hot and cold weather conditions. So it is used for large structures and uh, it gives a good cohesive characteristic which uh, helps in binding and uh, it has high Young's modulus and it has uh, comparably high flexural strength and uh, the shrinkage capacity is very low and uh, it has lower creep. It gives good protection to the uh, chlorine attack that is the steel reinforcement is prevented in marine environment uh, from corrosion and it has excellent durability and um, it has low heat characteristics and uh, it has low resistance to de-icing salts and it is used in pipes to prevent the chemical attack. So these are the special concretes which have been used in recent days. So the special concretes are lightweight concrete, high strength concrete, fiber reinforced concrete and uh, ferro cement, short crete, polymer concrete, high performance concrete, vacuum concrete and geopolymer concrete. So in the various types of special concrete, first we are going to see about the lightweight concrete. The lightweight concrete density varies from 300 to 1850 kilogram per meter cube. So this is mainly used to reduce the dead load that is uh, the self weight of the concrete will be reduced. So it is uh, achieved by three types. So the first is lightweight aggregate concrete and the second is aerated or cellular concrete and the third is no fines concrete. In lightweight concrete we are going to see about the lightweight aggregate. So in lightweight aggregate it is used to reduce the self weight that is the dead load is being reduced by using the lightweight aggregate. So the lightweight aggregate is of two types natural lightweight aggregate and artificial lightweight aggregate. So natural lightweight aggregate pumice, dolomite, scoria, volcanic cinder, sawdust, rice husk gas has been used. So in artificial lightweight aggregate, artificial clay, coke, uh, breeze, foamed slag, blotted clay, expanded shales, shrinted fly ash, expanded perlite, these are the artificial lightweight aggregates that is being used. So these lightweight aggregates is used to reduce the density of the concrete. Next we are going to see about the aerated or cellular concrete. So in aerated concrete, uh, the air is induced inside the concrete. So the, this air creates a cellular structure and uh, this air is produced by using hydrogen gas and uh, the aluminium powder and zinc is used to generate the hydrogen gas. So next we are going to see about the no fines con lightweight concrete. So in no fines concrete uh, the fine aggregate is uh, avoided and uh, only the coarse aggregate is being used. So these coarse aggregate has been used to provide the pavement block. Next we are going to see about the high strength concrete. So in high strength concrete the strength is improved for 28 days uh, curing period. When the strength of the concrete exceeds the M35 grade so the high strength concrete comes, is, comes into existence. So in high strength concrete the strength is improved by adding some chemical and mineral admixtures. So these admixtures have been added by the following methods. Uh, the first method is seeding or uh, it will be added in the form of revibration, high speed slurry mixing, using of admixtures, inhibition of cracks, sulfur impregnation, usage of uh, cement aggregate. So these are the techniques which are in which the chemical or mineral admixtures is being induced inside the concrete. Next type of special concrete is fiber reinforced concrete. So fiber reinforced concrete consists of uh, cement aggregate and uniformly dispersed fibers. So these fibers uh, is defined in terms of aspect ratio which is length to its diameter ratio which ranges from 30 to 150. The different types of fibers that is being used in fiber reinforced concrete are steel fiber, carbon fiber, glass fiber reinforced concrete, polypropylene fiber, asbestos fiber, organic fiber, natural fibers like coir, sisal fiber, jute and wood fibers is being used. The necessity of fiber reinforced concrete is it increases the tensile strength of the concrete, it reduces the air voids and water voids which is the inherent characteristics of the gel structure and it uh, increases the durability of the concrete. It has uh, such as uh, the graphite and uh, other type of fiber like carbon has a good resistance to creep and uh, the differential shrinkage can be avoided and the deformation is reduced. It uh, improves the dynamic characteristics of the concrete. So next is uh, ferro cement. Ferro cement is a thin walled reinforced concrete uh, structure which is commonly consists of hydrated cement mortar reinforced with closely spaced layers of continuous and relatively small wire mesh which is also known as a chicken mesh 
it is made up of metallic or other suitable materials so the material used for ferro cement is cement uh, mortar matrix and uh, skeletal steel steel mesh reinforcement so the advantages of ferro cement is it is highly versatile and can be formed in any shape in wide ranges and it is 20 percentage cost saving it is uh, flexible in cutting drilling and joining it is very appropriate in uh, developing countries it has good fire resistance and it has good impermeability and the maintenance cost is very low and the labor cost is uh, reduced and uh, the form work is not necessary so hence speedy construction can be promoted and uh, it has high waterproof resistance and uh, the weight is also reduced the application of shortcrete or uniting is uh, shortcrete is used in repairing the damaged surface of concrete shortcrete repairs can be used for bridge deck rehabilitation and it is used in uh, repairing the fire and earthquake damaged or deteriorated strengthening walls and it is used in marine structures and uh, shortcrete is used in underground excavation in rocks and uh, it is used to construct swimming pools shortcrete flows are used in constructing the tanks and pools with well compacted sub base so next we are going to see about polymer concrete polymer concrete is nothing but impregnation of the monomer into the pores of the hardened concrete and then getting it polymerized by thermal or other chemical process so this is known as polymerization so the types of polymer concrete are polymer impregnated concrete polymer cement concrete polymer concrete and partially impregnated and surface coated polymer concrete so the monomer that is used in polymerization is methyl meta acrylate styrene acronitrile t butyl styrene thermoplastic monomer the application of polymer concrete is it is used in nuclear power plants curb stones prefabricated structural elements precast deck slabs and in road works marine works pre stressed concrete irrigation works sewage works waterproofing of the buildings food processing buildings so next type of special concrete is vacuum concrete so the high water cement ratio is harmful to the overall quality of the concrete whereas low water cement ratio does not give enough workability so to improve the workability and strength a special type of concreting technique known as vacuum concrete come into existence so which permits high workability and high strength and uh, this type of concreting helps in attaining the high strength by reducing the water content later in vacuum concreting excess water used for higher workability is not necessarily needed for hydration process so this water is being extracted by means of vacuum pumping so which gives a subsequent placing of the concrete when properly utilized this vacuum concreting gives high quality of the concrete next type of special concrete is geopolymer concrete geopolymer concrete is an eco friendly concrete so in which the Portland cement is replaced by the use of geopolymer materials such as GGPS and fly ash and other types of geopolymer concretes so which reduces the emission of CO2 which takes place in Portland cement concreting the following are the various materials used in geopolymer concreting the first is fly ash which is a by product of the thermal power plant and next is ggps which is also a by product of steel plant and the fine aggregate coarse aggregate which is normally used in conventional concrete and uh, alkaline activator solution of ggps is also used in geopolymer concrete so now we have came to the end of the session i hope you all understand about the special concrete its types advantages and applications briefly in our upcoming lecture series we are going to see about the non restrictive testing techniques briefly thank you